Century Link Field for this NFC matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the Seattle Seahawks. Hello, friends. Jeff Nance along with Bill Sim. Just prior to kickoff. Yo, we are back with another video, man. We are taking it on them cow boys. I was going to say cowgirls, but we are taking it on the cowboys at home. Hey, Nick Chubb is injured, but that's not going to stop this team from doing what we do best, and that is running the ball. Kenneth Walker, bro, I, this this team is blocking? Bro, you can't ask for a better wide receiving core tight end and offensive line group that, that run blocks. You feel me? As Kenneth Walker nearly breaks it. He already got three carries for 30 yards, man. That goes to show you, man. We we will run the ball. A nice green pass. Nice play call. Nice play call by Pete Carroll. As he used up a screen pass. Another screen pass. And we cannot escape the D line. But that's okay. They're going to bring up third and four. Another read option. Y'all already know what time it is. That boy, that tight end is not them blocking his ass off, man. And they screen trade loose all the way inside the five. And Trey. The kid of the walker going to take it in for a touchdown as we break it. They score this game, man. And right here, bro, DK Metcalf, you beat press coverage like that with no safety help, but he get tripped up. And he was nearly in the end zone, man. I wish in the new Madden and the new NCAA game, bro. You know you finna get caught, bro. Dive into the end zone, you feel me? But we hit tight to lock it. And he ended up scoring the touchdown, man. We already up 14 to nothing. Kenneth the Walker once again. Great play calling right here. He picks up another first down. We definitely miss, miss Chubb, Nick Chubb, man. Bro, look at the laser on that pass. As we hit Zay Flowers, but he goes down with a injury. You hate to see it, man. Hopefully, he's not, not out for too long. Right here, we hit Tyler Lockett again. And he picks up the first down. Keep them chains moving, man. On the remaining remaining before halftime. Let's see if we can capitalize. We hit Kenneth Walker out of the backfield. He is in the end zone. Let's go. You love to see it, man. I promise you, you love to see it. Now, we got momentum, you know, as of late, and we want to keep that momentum. You know what I mean? But you can catch fire all you want to. We try to scramble, but we cannot escape as we get sacked on that play. Slipping in the rain, bro. We should have just threw it away right here. Back to back sacks by the defense, something that we definitely did not want to do. But second half action, man, we are 21 to 10. See, if we get something, look at the arm. Godwin inside the 10. His first catch of the game goes for 74. Another read option, and we're going to take it in ourselves, man. Trade with his second rushing touchdown on the game. We thought 28 to 10 against the Cowboys. We throw underneath to DK Metcalf. Great block by the receiver. He picks up a first down. Second and 12. Now we escape the pressure. We're gonna take off. No, he, he got the moves now. He's got the moves. You feel me? Just because he fast now, bro. But Kenneth Walker end up going down, man. I give y'all an injury update, bro. What the f yo? Terrible job by the defense. Somebody has to keep their eye on the quarterback. Nobody does, and he's able to get out of the pocket and get the long run for the touchdown. But I don't know what it is, man. I guess this team just got the, the like the injury bug. And Shashar Penny picks up a first down. Bro, Kenneth Walker the third. He's out for 10 weeks with a broken collarbone. Nick Chubb already out. He was out for four weeks, but this week, Nicky 3, Noah Fant be back in two weeks. And you got Zay Flowers out for the game, man. The injury bug is, is hitting this team big time. You feel me? But third and four, we decided to give Geno Smith a chance. And Geno Smith, look at them old legs turn. Let's go. You love to see it, man. As we defending our home against the Dallas Cowboys, man, on this rainy day here in Seattle. Man, you definitely love to see it. The hottest team in the NFL. Top 10 defense. Top 10 offense. You love to see it, man. Especially for a fan point of view. 
You feel me? You know, for rookie, you don't know what to expect, especially at the quarterback position. You can see the numbers from game to game, week for week. We won't have these numbers. You feel me? You're going against the better teams, better defense. They scheming, you know, against this rookie quarterback. Then, like in, in, in real life, bro, you got a rookie quarterback that comes in. It's hard to try to get a. Everybody is ready to go for this matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Seattle Seahawks here at Century Link Field. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims, and we are. It's hard to get a feel for Ricky because you don't know what to expect. There's no film to go on other than his college film. You feel me? So you, you, you NFL don't know what to expect. The kid this big, this fast, that on screen. You feel me? And the only comparison I could do as far as it just Anthony Richardson, you know what I mean? But he's a far better passer than Anthony Richardson. But we are taking on the Philadelphia Eagles, and we are already down seven to nothing. A DK Metcalf across the middle, and that's gonna set up first and goal. Handing off the penny, bro. Let's go. We tie this ball game up. As y'all know, we down 10 to 7. But as y'all know, man, Kenneth Walker third went down the last game for 10 weeks. This week make nine weeks, but no effect this back as we had a bye week, man. We don't, bro, <laughs> trade. We need our tight end. You feel me? The athletic tight end. Right here, we hit DK Metcalf once again on the comeback route. The two minute warning. Dude, bro, this is the Philadelphia Eagles are definitely planning against this guy, and they get a huge. Sack and he stopped the momentum. We cannot, we you not did not get a field goal range. So Philadelphia Eagles is is bringing the noise, man. That's why I say from week to week, he's not gonna have no 90% completion percentage with 300 yards, five touchdowns. That's not gonna happen, bro. But one thing he will have is these legs, man. If he scrambled, pick up a huge gain. We are down 10 to 7. And right here, bro, you just cannot do that. You can't. Touchdown. And we jump ahead, but let's take a look at this play. You got one safety high. And I was doing a play action pass. Now, both Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf, the cornerback tried to jam him. And that safety rotating to the left side. So, no safety help on DK Metcalf's side. So, all we had to do was just lob it in there. He run up underneath it. Touchdown. Let's go. You love to see it, man. We 14 to 10. Another read option. And a lot of times when, you know, Trey is not passing the ball well, Pete Carroll will implement some, you know, some kind of running plays and some some kind of throwing um, pass plays that are getting a comfortable and great play by Darius Slade to slap that and lose from DK Metcalf, man. You hate to see it. And we get out to Tyler Lockett. He picks up a first down to keep the drive light, man. Fourth quarter action. We only up by seven. So this drive is crucial. We hit DK Metcalf on the comeback route, man. That's good faith. First down, first and ten. They are sending the blitz. That the Eagles, bro. We should have threw that away. We thought we could outrun the defender, but we cannot. It's Smith to get a sack on that boy. Trade read option. When in doubt, run that read option, man. We pick up nearly at first down. That's gonna bring a third and one. Read option again, and we get a first down, man. As long as we moving forward, hand off to Rashad Penny, and he picks up a first. Damn, we just want to make them use them timeouts, man. Under two minutes remaining, first and ten. A really risky call, but we got the Godwin. 
who picks up at first down. Second and go. When and out, run that read option. It's every person's best friend. Let's go. Well, what a play for the touchdown. And I'll tell you, in the NFL, there's so many good players on offense now. You can never have enough points. So keep padding on that lead. Good job. Good score. But we're going to escape, you know, the Philadelphia Eagles, man, 24 to 17. They came on a great game plan in the first half. We had to just, you know, do some play calls that traded. No, he's comfortable with. And we went ahead and, you know, did that. And also with the running. Didn't really quite pass the ball well. This game, uh, you know, compared to last game, like I say, from week to week, you won't have those high completion percentages. Look at that, 183, one passing touchdown, 52 completion percentage. Like last week, it was 90-something. So you're not going to have those week from week. This is the NFL. Teams want to adjust, you feel me? But, you know, 10 for 19, 183, 52 complete percentage, one passing touchdown. We got sacked two or three times, so not his best game. Well, you're going to keep moving forward with the dub is all that matters. Rushing wires, the sharp penny, 66 rushing yards, one score. Trey had 73 rushing yards and, and one score. Had receiving wide, DK Metcalf, 82 receiving yards and one score. Tyler Lockett, 58 receiving yards, but hey, you can't win them all, man. I mean, we did win them all. Wish we are sorry, and I'm going. The I want to salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret, everything that you done with me. Because it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.